In September of 2017, a level five hurricane ripped through the island of Puerto Rico. In 2020, a new work of public art titled My Cry to the World, the Hurricane Maria Memorial, open to the public. Join me now to meet the team, architect Segundo Cardona and artist Antonio Martorell, as they describe their process of creating My Cry to the World, the Hurricane Maria Memorial. In order to deal with tragic circumstances and to project something that was terrible to begin with, you have to dress it in beauty. It must be uh, engaging to begin with in order to convey even a message that is terribly sad. First, he figured out a beautiful structure. He said, we must bring the island to Manhattan. We began taking into consideration the space where the monument was to be placed, but also our origin, both the beauty and the tragedy. From the very beginning, Segunda and I considered this was to deal with space. It was a space to be lived in, to invite uh, the passerby to experience our work, to inhabit our space, the way we transformed it. And Segundo was very keen about that. He always thought about the space. Well, he's an architect, after all. I mean, he has to do with that more than I do. I went along and I said, yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's have people kind of walk in. And from the very beginning, we thought about this spiral because first of the hurricane and the way Puerto Ricans, we carry our house with us like the snail. And this shape, this spiral is both the vertigo that comes with the hurricane, but also the path that we Puerto Ricans follow seeking for a better place. Puerto Ricans are never homeless because we carry our home with us. The idea of having a space rather than an object where you can walk in and see it from outside as well, it's something that is very architectural. The architecture is all about containing spaces and defining spaces, even if they are outside. But I have been very interested in my life as a designer of the relationship between outdoor and indoor. Uh, the idea of having uh, this experience of going out and inside or having a diffuse barrier between outside and inside is something that I try to work uh, in, in all my projects. And in this case, I did it in a very different way because it's, it's a glass shape, it's transparent, it's, it's reflective. Uh, you can see it from outside, from inside, and, and although you experience each side, it's more, it's more complete since you are able to read the poem, it, there is a very surprising factor when you approach uh, this monument from the street and you see it as a very colorful object. In the case of the star, obviously it's a reference to the star in the Puerto Rican flag, but also it's a way to put together structurally those elements that are the center of the monument itself. It's a relationship back and forth between shape and function. Uh, you can have two completely different experiences as well from day and night. It was kind of a happy encounter between Segundo's skills of dealing with space how to, how to transform that space while respecting it. The Julia de Burgos poetry, it, it's so provocative. It, it's, it's a path, it leads us. So the fact that although it was written more than half a century ago, it is like if it was written today, because it, it, it's a cry into the world and it's our cry then and now. Farewell from Welfare Island.
Adiós desde Welfare Island, by Julia de Burgos. Tiene que partir de aquí, en este mismo instante. Mi grito al mundo. It has to come from here, right this instance. My cry into the world. El pasado es solo una sombra que surge de ningún sitio. The past is only a shadow emerging from nowhere. En algún lugar, la vida fue olvidada y buscó refugio en profundidades de lágrimas y pesares sobre este gran imperio de soledad y oscuridad. Life was somewhere forgotten and sought refuge in depths of tears and sorrows over this vast empire of solitude and darkness. ¿Dónde está la voz de la libertad? Libertad de reír, de moverse, sin el pesado fantasma del desespero. Where is the voice of freedom? Freedom to laugh, to move, without the heavy phantom of despair? ¿Dónde está la forma de la belleza? Inquebrantable en su velo, simple y pura. ¿Dónde está el calor del cielo, virtiendo sus sueños de amor en espíritus quebrantados? Where is the form of beauty unshaken in its veil, simple and pure? Where is the warmth of heaven pouring its dreams of love in broken spirits? Tiene que partir de aquí, en este mismo instante, mi grito al mundo. Mi grito ya no es mío, sino de él y de ella para siempre, los compañeros de mi silencio, las fantasmas de mi tumba. It has to be from here, right this instance, my cry into the world, my cry that is no more mine but hers and his forever, the comrades of my silence, the phantoms of my grave. Tiene que partir de aquí, olvidado pero inquebrantable, entre compañeros del silencio, muy adentro en Welfare Island, mi despedida, al mundo. It has to be from here, forgotten but unshaken, among comrades of silence deep into Welfare Island, my farewell to the world. Visit Battery Park City in Lower Manhattan and see almost two dozen examples of the art of our time, from installations and landworks to sculpture and memorials.